There's been a lot going on in the headlines, mm -hmm. lady. That's why we couldn't wait any longer to get the juicy scoop. Time to hear what's happening in the world of social media. This is the social feed with Essence. Today is Essence Magazine's director of social media, Charisma DeBerry. Charisma, thank you. We were in this month's um, edition of Essence. That was very sweet of you to add us. Thank and welcome you. back to the show. Super excited. Hey, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. So much going on. So much. Yes. Yeah. So much, and you're Do the one tell. to deliver all the okay. deeds. Okay, up first, they stay in the headlines. So please update us on Kanye West and Julia Fox. Mm -hmm. What's the deets with them? Okay, so Julia Fox is asking that everyone put some respect on her name because according to TMZ, the Uncut Gym star put it this way. People are like, oh, you're in it for the fame, you're in it for the clout, you're in it for the money. But honey, I've dated billionaires my entire adult life. Now, Julia, Miss Girl, the receipts are out on the billionaires that you dated because your ex-husband was not giving billionaire. I'm just oh. saying. <laughs> oh, was he giving thousand air? <laughs> she, said he, she said he had no coins, okay? That's what she said. But now she's saying that she is, you know, used to the billionaire lifestyle. But we know that while you may have rich men before you did not date mr kanye west and whatever people think about him we do know that dating kanye definitely raises your profile and definitely is going to get her some looks that she didn't get before but while miss julia is asking for respect on her name a lot of people are saying even though they're out at fashion week and kanye is sporting her on his arm everywhere she goes we know that he's just doing this to get back at kim and to make her jealous but Kanye, it seems that Kim doesn't care because she's okay. asking the judge to declare her single immediately and she is pressing forward with this divorce. In fact, it seems like she is running as fast as she can towards this divorce. So I don't know, but the receipts are out. For billionaires. Jay, what do you think? Uh, uh, Jay, Jay wants to know, I want to see the list of billionaires that she's been dealing with. I'm like, Me who too. are these people? Okay. Who, are, who, are your, who, are, who is your grandbaby? Who is your grandbaby? I'm just, try, I'm just trying to figure out, man, because, you know, yeah. who is she mess Adam Sandler? Is that what you're right. talking about? Oh, who oh, is this billionaire? Oh, oh, oh. Well, well, you know what? They're over there at um, Paris together. Yes. And the Fashion way you leader. know Kanye misses Kim is that he put Julia Fox in the same boots that Kim had on two seasons ago. Oh. That's all I'm saying. Okay. And, <laughs> and, and you know what? Let's just, let's just make an aside to talk about Kanye West's boots that he's wearing looking like... <laughs> He looked like he's showing up to take the SAT. I swear for love. I swear for love. Those boots, those flats that he got on right, them Ugg boots that he got on right Lord. now, I'm just saying. He looks, they look academic. That's all I'm saying. Academic. They look really academic. Oh, charisma. You know, 2022 is kicking off with some interesting details when it comes to the big game. Fill us in on what's happening. According to page six, industry professionals have been speaking out on social media about trading opportunities for exposure. Now, all of us are creators and creatives who work in the industry, and you know that a lot of times people ask you to do things for free mm. so that you can get the look. Well, the big game is no different. Even though big stars like Mary J. Blige, Dr. J, Kendrick Lamar, and Eminem are performing, and the legendary Fatima Robinson is the choreographer, it Love appears... Her that they are paying 115 dancers to perform at the big game, which is amazing, right? Mm. Hold on. There will be hundreds of dancers on the field that day, which means that hundreds of dancers are being asked to perform without payment, Ooh. although this is seeming oh, no. to be hundreds of millions of dollars Ooh. worth of production, mm. but the dancers aren't getting paid. A lot oh. of people are calling foul on that. And wait, page six got a hold of the call sheet and they are asking for predominantly African-American movers to volunteer. What's that about? Uh-uh, pay, oh, pay us, pay us, pay us, pay well, us. Come on wow. now. That's what Viola Davis said. Pay me what and the I'm cost worth. of the big game. Exactly. The cost of the big game, they can yeah, afford Yeah, they have the money. Tickets. Absolutely. Yeah, they they have expensive. the money. Yeah, I mean, this ain't community. So we, there, there ain't nobody going to college <laughs> right now. Thank you very much. What, 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 yeah. what university is somebody trying to get up in? That's what I'm trying to <laughs> This is my That's thing. That's ridiculous. They're talking about you should be so excited to have this kind of exposure. Let's keep it real. 
on those big cams, no, the you dancers, can't you can't spot who's who. No. Yeah, just going to pay the people. Stars? Who's going to see the dancers? Let's keep no, it. Yeah. They should no, absolutely yeah. be paid. Okay. I can only imagine the amount of hours that's going to go into the rehearsals for this, the amount of hours of them standing outside in the cold, trying yeah. to go through blocking for cameras. It's a lot. They absolutely should get paid. Pay us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pay those folks. Mm -hmm. now, uh, let's, <laughs> now, let's switch it up just a little bit. Now... I got a question for you. Um, what's all the drama we're hearing about Hugh Hefner and his Playboy bunnies? Ooh. Uh. Okay, Where did you get this question let's from? Okay. Let's sprinkle some allegedly all over this story because this tea is piping hot, but it is also very scandalous. According to the NY Post, when Hugh Hefner was bedding down bunnies, he got so bored that he moved on to dogs. Yes, you heard me right. D O G S. Dogs. Hef's proponent pension for bestiality is just one of the explosive claims made in this new A and E documentary, uh, Secrets of a Playboy, out next Monday. The damning ten-part series unmasks the once heralded mogul as a man who was doing some very dirty deeds on the low and to took oh. advantage of a lot of vulnerable women to build his empire based on sex and luxury. But this is not giving luxurious, y'all. Because oh, yeah. Hef's ex-girlfriend, Sandra Theodore, who is now 65 years old, said he was nothing more than a predator and that she's seen oh. young girls entering the Playboy Mansion with bright eyes and bright futures and they would leave broken and ashamed. Oh. Wow. Not surprised at all at this. Not surprised. Uh. You're not surprised at the dogs? I'm the dogs took me off of guard. I'm not surprised at any of it. I mean, you, you know, people have gone to jail. It is time to get all these stories out. So mm. I'm not surprised and I'd be interested to see this. Okay, <laughs> lastly, Ari Lennox has been very vocal on social media. What's going on with my good sis? Yes, our good sis is under pressure, y'all. So according to Complex, Ari Lennox has revealed that she just wants out of the music industry mm. altogether in a recent tweet explaining that she is done and tired. She no longer wants to be a singer or a signed mm. artist. She said that after a week that seen her um, going against a podcaster who ambushed and blindsided her with questions about her sex life, she yeah. said that was just the icing on the cake. And responding to tweeters, she kind of went on a rant and just went off about a lot of the things that people are saying to her. She says, yes, I realize I have no hits. I realize that you all can live without hearing my music. And I realize that you all are tired of me complaining but she just wants to be free and that no one could last a day in her shoes as a signed artist. But I must say that the tweeters kind of got back at her really strong because they're like, girl, you are living a lot of people's dream. Just be grateful. But we know that the grass is not always greener mm -hmm. on the other side. And I saw that, that disrespectful interview. I did send her out a tweet and I said, the ladies of the real would love for you to come on our show. So Ari, yeah. that still stands. We will give you the type of interview that you deserve. The respect that she deserves. Yeah, That's definitely. unacceptable. Yeah. I, I think that people say like she's living her dream, but I, I don't think this is the dream she imagined it's it would be. It's a hard road. It's And I don't hard. think people realize that, that, oh, you get this exposure, but then you get that, and then you get people disrespecting you. Yeah. So it's just, it is not the dream she imagined. Absolutely. Yeah. She's our shea butter baby. So we are sending her some healing energy. And yeah. we do not want you to retire, Ari, because you are so talented. And we yeah. love your music. And it's important to not pay attention to that stuff that they're saying online and tweeting you or whatever. Just, you know, you focus on your craft. That's right. You make yourself the best artist you can be, and you do it for people who support you and love you and yeah. want to see you win and forget everybody else. That's do right. Do it for the ones that do love you. Real yeah. talk. Well yeah. said. Well That's said. Right. Charisma, thank you so much uh, for stopping by and giving us a scoop on what's trending on social feeds. Mm -hmm. You always get it right. For more on the latest celebrity news and all things social, be sure to head over to Essence.com to get all the deets.